Hi there, it's Samantha here from Using Technology Better and in this video I'm going to give you a bit of an overview of searching in Outlook, more specifically how to search effectively. So let's start by looking at a few search basics. So you've got the search box up here and what's really important to know is that when you actually put a keyword in this box, whether that be a person's name or perhaps just a search term, it actually looks in a whole lot of places in the email for that keyword. So the to field, the from field, the CC, BCC fields, the subject, the body text, it'll even actually look in the attachments of that email if they are Microsoft Office files like Word, Excel, PowerPoint, etc. So it's going to look for that word in a lot of different places which means you can get quite a lot of search results back. And we're going to talk shortly about how to combat that. The other important search basic to know is where is it actually looking? And that's all determined by what's in this little drop down box here on the right hand side. So you'll see at the moment it says current mailbox and that is the default that comes up if I'm in my inbox when I search. Now the current mailbox means that it's going to search your inbox, your sent items, your drafts, and all of the folders and subfolders you've actually got within that email account. So for example, this email account here, when that is the current mailbox that I would be searching in. Now on this little drop down, you'll see there's other options as well. So we might actually go to the bottom first where it says all Outlook items. That actually looks all in all the different email accounts you might have. It looks in all the calendars you might have, your contacts and your tasks. So that's the most broad search if you like. Now all mailboxes is similar to current mailbox in that all the locations that it searches, you know, your sent, your, um, your drafts, your inbox or your folders and subfolders, but it does this in all of the email accounts that you've got in Outlook. So for example, you see I've got two accounts on the left hand side here, all mailboxes would search across both of those. Now moving up to the top where it says current folder. So that would just search the folder I was currently in. So I'm in my inbox at the moment. If I set that to current folder, it would just search my inbox. Now that actually comes up by default if I go into a folder. So if I go into my sent items over here and then come up to the search, you'll see it actually says current folder up the top. Now the other thing you might like to do is instead of using current folder is you can also use subfolders. So the difference between the two of those is current folder will just look in that one specific folder you happen to be in, whereas subfolders will look in that specific folder and all its subfolders as well. So that makes it again a little bit broader, but not as broad as looking everywhere. Okay, so now we've got those basics covered. What about if you wanna do more advanced search? Because as I said before, if we just come up to the box here and just type in a, a keyword, if I was to type in Lara, it was just going to search for the word Lara everywhere. Okay, so a whole lot of different results. So to be more specific, what I can actually do is use this search um, toolbar that appears at the top. Now, if I was just to clear my search and click back in the search box, you'll see that search toolbar comes up automatically. And there's a whole lot of different buttons on here that do a whole lot of useful things. So let's start with this one here called from. So if I click on that, what it actually does is put a search operator in the search box. And you'll see that search operator is from colon, okay? So it's saying we wanna find all emails from a particular person. So you'll see it's actually got send a name in blue. And I can just start typing straight away. So I'm gonna type Lara again, and I can choose which person from my contact list or my organization's directory I wanna search for. So if I wanna search for this Lara, I can do it. It's gonna pop her email address in there and bring up the emails from her. So what this is really good for is eliminating all the emails about Lara or to Lara, but that weren't from Lara. So I could pretty much cut out almost 50%, maybe more, maybe a bit less of my search results just by using that from, which is really good. Um, so what I can also do is I could combine that with other advanced search operators. So all these other buttons up here do similar things in terms of giving me this advanced search criteria. So if I wanted to find emails from Lara that had a particular subject, I could click the subject button, see it's pop subject there in that search box. And again, it's got keywords in blue. I could just start typing AGM and all of a sudden it's gonna take that even less to just the email that had AGM in the subject. If I was looking for ones that had attachments, I could click has attachments and it's gonna put the has attachments yes option. 
Now in my case, I've got none from Lara that have attachments, but if I did, they would come up. So let's clear that and have a look at a few more of the options on this menu. So sent to, so if I click on that, I can actually say sent to another recipient and that's kind of the to equivalent of the from that we use. So I could say sent to Lara for instance and I could pop in Lara again here and it would find anything sent to her. Now if I clear that again, we can look at some others. So if we jump back in. So for example, this week. So this actually lets me choose a time period to search. So I might be interested in all emails sent to a particular person in the last month or the last week or yesterday. So I can use these and add these to my search box as well. Okay, so you can see this is all emails received last week, things like that. Another really good one is unread. If you just quickly want to see all your unread mail, you can click on unread and it's going to bring up all of the unread mail in one place. Now, if you use flags or categories, you can also use the advanced search for those and you can actually choose to only see emails you've flagged or only ones that you've put a particular category on. So there's some other options that you can do. Over here, we have the search tools. So if I click on that, a few different things, but you'll notice down here, we've got advanced find. So if I jump into that and just bring it onto the screen for you, this actually gives you a way to combine a whole lot more different search operators and do much more advanced search. So there's three different tabs, messages, more choices and advanced. So each of them has different options and you'll see here in the messages one, I can choose what I wanna actually search for. I could say I only wanna search for appointments and meetings or messages or tasks, etc. and where. So I could come over here and click browse and actually choose the locations that I wanna search. Now, a lot of the things in this box are similar to what you can do with the buttons up in the search toolbar. So it really depends on what tool you're more comfortable with. Sometimes if you want to combine a lot of operators, it feels a bit cleaner to do it through here, just a bit easier to navigate, but also you can do a lot of this from the buttons too. So let's take a little bit more of a look at what's on this screen. So search for the words. Again, this is like a keyword thing and I can choose where I want to search for them, just in the subject field, in the message body, etc. I can choose who I want to, emails I want to search for a particular person that we're from or that have been sent to a particular person. And also I love this one, where I am. So I can actually choose only, you know, to show the messages where I was the only person in the to field or where I was CC'd and stuff like that. So that's good to just filter out more results. And you've got a time option down the bottom here too. Now in the more choices, you can do things here like only show items that are in red, select categories, importance levels, that kind of thing, size. So more options. And then lastly on the advanced tab, as the name kind of suggests, you can create much more advanced search criteria. So you can choose from a whole list of different fields and then you can set conditions for those and values. So a bit more advanced, but for those of you that are more comfortable with searching, you might find that useful. Okay, so I'm gonna close that. And one more thing I wanna show you before we wrap up. So one of the things I often find is that people do similar searches quite frequently. So particularly once you've mastered using some of these buttons, you might find a really effective search, like to I, when I'm gonna search for emails from my boss, I can do this and this and always find what I want. So that is where recent searches comes in. So if you click here on recent searches, it will show all the searches that I've done recently. And if I wanna rerun re run one of them, I can just actually click on it. So if I wanted to see all the ones that were unread, which is the is read no, you can click on that and it's gonna rerun that search. So it's a really quick way to um, just go back and rerun one of those searches without having to enter all the criteria again. So there you go, there's a bit of an overview of searching in Outlook and some tips to use advanced search features to be a little bit more efficient and a bit more effective in your searching. So thanks for watching. Thank you.